Hey, hey, it's Joey Atlas here. Just finishing my lower body session. I'm gonna go through the whole circuit one more time so that you can see the session from beginning to end, the full circuit. You should know that I already did the circuit three times so that in, in context, this makes sense to you. So I'm going to go through it. This is the fourth time. I'm going to show you each move. I might do six, seven, eight reps, give or take. And I'm wearing my short shorts so that any newcomers can see that this gentle, unique, slow, controlled, no momentum method without the big weights, without the big stacks, without the knee wraps and the fancy belts, without any of that, we can get results that are enjoyable, safe, sustainable, and quite visible. But remember, this is not just about the aesthetics, what we see on the outside. This is about training ourselves from the inside out. So why do I want to avoid the big heavy weight bars and the hack machines and the squat machines because I want to protect my joints. I want to protect my spine, my hips, my knees, everything that's attached to them. We want to protect them and prolong their functionality, prolong their integrity. We want to get the most mileage out of our joints. We don't want to grind our joints to an early death. We don't want that. We don't want hip replacements. We don't want back surgeries. We don't want it and we don't need it. So, without further ado, I'm gonna take you through this session. One circuit, here we go. Any questions, comments, or thoughts, post below. And again, I remind you, <laughs> I don't typically wear my short shorts, but I'm wearing these old school $5 sweats, rolled up so that you can see. We get things working and we get the stimulation we need without having to go beast mode, without having to kill it, bro, and without having to go boss lady, weightlifter, real women go hard. None of that stuff. This is what we do and this is how we do it. Slow and steady. Slow and steady makes the muscles do the work instead of momentum. I don't care how much weight you lift. If you're using momentum to move that weight, I am not impressed at all. And if you're impressed and all your friends are impressed, well, that's cool. But I don't, I don't get impressed easily anymore. I get impressed when people do things the easy way, the safe way, and they get awesome results. That's impressive. Whew. All right, glutes are working there. So you'll notice you don't see me with a bar across my hips going like this and like that with the big weights. There's no need for that when you do it slowly, one side at a time. You can get them glutes training, popping as much as you want without having to crush your hips and put some heavy bars on your joints. Our bodies are not made like that. They're not made to do that. All right, from here, I'm gonna give you a little side angle to show you some quadriceps. Body weight quads. That's five reps. I'm going to give you five on the other side now. Working the quads here on this, this left leg that's doing the work. Let me tell you how much it's burning. Whoo! Feeling it. But while you're watching, if you could think of somebody else who needs to see this, who can learn something, post below tag them, have them come on over and tune in, and then post any questions you have for me as you're watching. Whew. 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 Feeling it. All right, we're gonna take
take our hybrid bench mat, set that aside. We're going to, while this is down low, I'm going to throw in my two calf sets, two calf set variations. Watch closely. First we go straight knee. I'm going to show you from the side. We're going straight knee. First, I'll give you four reps each side. Deep stretch on the bottom. We go four on the other, straight knee. Deep stretch on the bottom. Slow and steady with a slight pause at the top. Stretch it on the bottom. Now we're going to go bent knee. It's going to look something like that. Knee is going to be bent slightly. Same controlled movement. Pause at the top. Slow coming down, stretching at the bottom. Now keep in mind, I already went through this circuit three times. So you might see my legs shaking a bit. Because I've got some fatigue going on. Fatigue with no big weights, no crazy stack machines, no big plates loaded up, none of that stuff. Notice I got the knee slightly bent here. See the calves kicking in? And they're burning. Woo! One more. Woo! All right, we're going sidestep now. We raise, we raise our platform core training step on the Sculpt to Fit Home Gym system. We get up. We're going sideways on the slow step down. From here, we're coming down, light toe touch. Slow coming up. When we get to the top, we're still keeping a slight bend in the knee. We're not locking it out. We never, ever want to lock the knees out. You can watch YouTube, Instagram, Facebook all day and see these clowns going like this with whatever leg movements they're doing. Fast and locking their knees out at the top, popping them back. They just haven't learned yet. They just haven't went to school the proper way yet. They haven't gotten to that lesson yet. That you're not supposed to pop out your knees and lock out your knees. Slight bend to the top. Always keeps all the fibers engaged. Makes good things happen. Now we go other side. Whoo! Slow and steady. Light toe touch. Coming up slowly. Slight bend to the top. You can see that slight bend. Light toe touch at the bottom, light, and then up slowly. Knees stay slightly bent. Coming down, light toe touch at the bottom, very light. We don't shift the weight. On the bottom, notice, I'm not shifting my weight. It's a light toe touch. The leg up top on the step is still keeping tension. Light toe touch, up slowly. Whew. Now we go straight on. Same idea, but straight on now. Light toe touch. Up slowly. Still keeping a slight bend in the knee. We're not locking it out. Light toe touch on the bottom here, light. Up slowly. Knee slightly bent. Coming down. All the tension stays up top. Light toe touch at the bottom. And up. Now we switch it. Coming down slowly, controlling the move. Light toe touch at the bottom. Light. Up slowly. Knees stay slightly bent. Keeping the tension through the whole move. Muscle fibers are engaged the whole time. We don't lock it out because we don't want to relax it. And we don't want to put our 
knee joints at risk. Okay, now we're gonna get our bands. We're gonna throw in a band set here. We've got them anchored from high to low. I'm squatting down, knees, knees bent, feet together. We step, we shift, we shuffle, and we stop. We step back, control it, coming in, back down. Notice I'm staying low. Step, shift, other leg comes over, we pause, our whole lower body and our core, our glutes, everything is keeping us here. We control it. This might look sim simple on camera, I'm starting to lose my breath here, but it's not simple. Let me tell you how much my lower body is fired up. Now you see why I wear the short shorts, the old school $5 sweats, so that you can see what's going on here. We're getting everything we need just from this body weight and band stuff. No big weights. We're gonna do the other side now. Just to even it out, we pause down here, we control it, back slowly, control, Slow step, we lean over and we bring the other side over. That band is pulling me back, but my whole lower body and core is controlling it. Whew. Step, lean, bring it over. We pause down low. The whole lower body is fired up. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna step aside from the Sculpt Fit Home Gym. We're going to top this off with one of my favorite, favorite body weight moves that I love doing when I travel, love doing when I'm on the road at the hotels, the playgrounds. That is the pistol squat. Here we go. I'll give you the short, short look so you can see what's going on here. Come up slowly. Notice this knee stays slightly bent, not locking it out, okay? Don't lock it out. If you're a beginner or partial beginner, you want to be able to hold on to something, whether it's a, if you have a sculpted at home gym, you can use this, of course. You can put one of your arms on like that, or you can go up to a couch or a chair, countertop, whatever you have. If you don't have one of these, you can use this. That's your balance, that's your stability. As you get better and better, you can release, eventually go fully advanced, freestyle. Now we'll do the other side. Now if you're, again, if you're a pure beginner, you might not be able to go as low as I'm going, so you go partial, or you might not even do these at all. If you're a real, real, real extreme beginner, You'd be leaving these out totally until the future. After you build up that foundation, after you build up that base, after you've gotten your body conditioned, then we can advance to some of this stuff. I cover all that in the membership site, sculptofitclub.com. Whether you have one of these or you don't, doesn't matter. We have people in the membership training site who, who did just have space in their living room. That's it. It's all you need. If you want to add one of these, that's fine. Woo! But I'm done. That's it. There you go. Lower body is done. I'm going to be 50 before you know it. I train for longevity, full functionality and health right now. As of the time of this recording, in about, well, three, oh, it's about mm, less than two weeks now. Be going for my next complete annual physical, covering all the numbers, all the vitals, everything on the inside. And we can see how I compare to my numbers last year, because that's that's the guiding star. The annual complete physical that shows everything going on from the inside out. All the important numbers, all the blood work, blood pressure, 
triglycerides, cholesterol, prostate, bone density, inflammatory markers, everything we can't see when we look in the mirror, the really important stuff that's below the surface. That's what drives all of this. It's not because I want to look good on the beach. I want to impress anybody. I don't care who's impressed or not. It doesn't matter to me. I do this for me, my health, my wellness, my longevity. The way I look on the outside, just a bonus. Just a side effect of how I take care of myself from the inside out. That's what I want for you. I want you to make this something based on values, your intentions, and your big life purpose. When you do that, when that's your focus, when those things are your guides, all the looks, the way you appear to other people, the way what you see in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, when you get out of the shower, when you go to the pool, when you go to the beach, that all just falls into place. It becomes easy. That's not what you're driving after. It becomes a side effect of the real things you should be driving after. You have one life, it's up to you to make it count. It's up to you to do the right things for that. And it all starts in here. Define what you want and the reasons why you want it. Set up your plan and then start executing. If you need help, if you have any questions, where to start, what to do, how to go about it, and you don't want to go beast mode and you don't want to kill it, bro, and you don't want to be a boss lady weightlifter, you want to go the easy way, the gentle way, the safe way, Post below, let me know, and I'll come answer you when I'm done in a bit, okay? As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Share this with somebody else, and be ready for the next one, because it's coming.